Greetings viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk. And uh, a couple of months ago, I made a video called Online Dating What the Fuck, which was talking about how I had recently signed on to the dating site Plenty of Fish. And I had some questions and was quite confused about the etiquette involved in online dating. Well, about two weeks ago, I signed off with Plenty of Fish permanently, but not because I got a girlfriend. Right, well, if I have to tell the truth, I signed off because I pretty much gave up. And I gave up for two significant reasons, but there's a lot of little reasons as well, I suppose. But the big two were, number one, Plenty of Fish was starting to make me feel bad about being single. And normally I don't feel bad uh, about being single. I, I, I like my life regardless of whether or not I have a partner. And this was starting to make me feel resentful that I was alone, um, which is not normally how I approach being a singleton. So I thought it was unhealthy for me uh, because it was making me feel bad. And number two, uh, a few weeks ago, I, I, I met a woman on Planet Fish who I thought was the absolute bomb. And, uh, you know, she was smart, she was funny, she was beautiful, uh, she was incredibly candid. We both talked quite openly about the mistakes we'd made in our lives. Uh, neither one of us were sort of trying to impress the other by seeming to be, you know, more than we were or anything like that. Uh, I, I, I felt right off the bat that I had met a kindred spirit. And this was incredibly potent to me because of how much we had in common and how much we quite obviously fancied each other. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, I've actually met one, a significant other, on fucking plenty of fish. Fuck! You know? Um, but uh, after the date, for reasons which are too personal uh, for her and me to go into, suffice to say, she called it off. And uh, I thought to myself, well, you know what, if I can meet someone like that, uh, I mean, this, this woman was an amazing specimen of human being. She was fucking outstanding. And she fancied me. And it can still go foul um, for reasons that nobody can help. Um, I, just, I just decided to myself, you know what, I, 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 I'm never going to meet anyone else as good as that. I, 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 very, I, I don't know if I've ever met anyone uh, that I hit it off with on that sort of, on so many levels so fast uh, before in my life. Um, and I just, I just know, uh, based on my other experience with Plenty of Fish, that, uh, that's, you know, that's you know it's never I'm never gonna it's never gonna get I'm never gonna reach that again and if I have that to compare the rest to and it, it's just it's just, it's just gonna do my head in basically and I don't need that so what I do need is to basically let myself off the hook and stop worrying about it so fucking much you know I'm like I say normally I make the best of whatever situation I'm in you know, if I'm single I make the best of being single I got plenty of very good friends locally and I'm making more friends all the time. Uh, you know, so if I need companionship and someone to do things with, that's not necessarily all that difficult. So I don't really, really, I mean, you know, obviously I like the companionship and affection that comes with having a relationship and so forth. But, you know, I'm not codependent. I'm not one of these people who can't, ha can't be happy without it. I can, and I normally am. And I am pretty happy with myself and my life. Things are definitely on the up. Um, which is a good thing because they were, you know, the year I've just lived through people was probably the hardest year I've ever lived through. Uh, there's so much that I just can't talk about on my channel that's been going on in my life over the past year. But um, suffice to say that, uh, you know, things are definitely on the mend, as it were. You know, uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel and all that. And hopefully when I get out of the tunnel, uh, Maybe I'll find uh, romance then. Who knows? I'm not going to predict the future. I don't even want to. Um, but I just wanted to share my experience with online dating. And uh, to that end, I'll talk a little bit about some of the other things I noticed about Plenty of Fish after my four and a half or five months or whatever I was on the website. Uh, you do meet a lot of people, uh, inevitably, 
you'll send you messages or you'll send them messages and you'll have conversations and, and a lot of it doesn't really go anywhere. I mean, sometimes people will message you and seem very keen and then you write them back and then they never respond to your reply. And you don't know if it was something you said or not. And of course you could chase it up or whatever, but I, you know, for me, my attitude is, you know, um, it takes two to tango. And if I send a message and it doesn't get replied to, I'm not going to go chasing after anybody. I, I wouldn't do that in, in person. So I'm certainly not going to do it online, you know? Um, at the end of the day, uh, if you're trying to establish a relationship of equals, uh, neither person should be playing those kind of games, you know. So, anyway, uh, so you meet a lot of people uh, for conversations that don't go anywhere. Um, I, I do take it that uh, obviously the experience is a lot different for women than it is for men um, on dating websites, as I mentioned in my first video. Um, but I do think certain things uh, are definitely in common for both. I mean, I got canceled on and or stood up, I think, four times, uh, all in the space of like three weeks. Uh, one, and that was, I suppose, in June or maybe July. I can't remember. Maybe both. It might have spanned those two months. I don't remember exactly. But, uh, you know, and I'd had a couple of very, very good dates, but uh, in terms of relationship material, uh, you could just see that, that there wasn't enough there to, to build anything on. So, you know, all in all, it wasn't a terrible experience, but if I carried on with it, I think it would have made me feel very, very bad. It was starting to make me feel bad about being single, and I don't want to feel bad, you know, um, not if I can help it, and I can. So I signed off. So for whatever it's worth, if you're considering online dating, I hope you'll consider my experience, whether you decide to go for online dating or whether you decide to avoid it and uh, try something a bit more personal and face-to-face. -face. I don't think face-to-face uh, -face is necessarily more valid or, or less valid than online dating. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with interacting with people online and meeting people and getting to know them online before you meet them in person. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Uh, that's the world we live in. You know, I've been online for 17 years now and uh, for people to still sort of imply sometimes that uh, online relationships are somehow less meaningful than face-to-face -face relationships. Uh, Maybe that was true once. I don't think it's true anymore. I think the internet is too deeply ingrained in our lives now for us to think like that. So anyway, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Uh, until next time, remember, if you only look at things from one side, the very most you can see is half of it.